I'm Draco Self-Important, and I think you should listen to me. I also think you should like and subscribe. I can't say subscribe, but you should still do it. Uh, also, hit the bell. Every time I say that, it makes my soul hurt just a little bit, and I'm not even sure that I believe in souls, so you figure that out. Um, okay, so you're going to listen to me talk about dating advice for women, why you should care about that, and also your self-esteem. Um, so, have you ever looked at dating advice directed at women? Have, have you ever seen what, what these things are? Have you ever looked at the, like, TikToks and shit of women talking about their dating experience and, like, the do's and don'ts that they, they give to each other? Because it's a whole lot of women advising each other to take time to make sure that that man wants to be your friend, to avoid him being some sort of fuckboy piece of shit. And it's also a lot of women going, that guy was not even that fucking cute, or that smart, or that nice, or that whatever. What the fuck was it about that guy? So, like, all I get all the time are either people trying to tear me down in the comments or people telling me that I'm completely wrong. Not all I got. Yeah, I got some good faith shit. But I get a lot of people telling me that, like, suggesting that women are more concerned with things other than physical attractiveness is somehow some sort of bananas crazy shit. Um, and then, like, I look at what women are saying to each other, like, attractive women. Like, you know, not... The thing that I think that we're missing here, and I, I touched on it a bit before is that I think the incel population, if you will, has a very difficult time understanding that people might have thoughts and feelings that differ from their own. And I don't mean that in a, like, insulting or negative way. I mean that genuinely. Like, you're having trouble conceptualizing it, and so you're just choosing not to. You're just choosing to believe that it doesn't make sense because it doesn't make sense to you, and so no one else could possibly, so it's not true. And that's how you get to flat earthers. Like, thinking only to the point that makes sense to you personally and not being willing to accept that other people might understand things more and or differently than you do leads you to a very narrow worldview that leads you to being an absolute moron. Um, and, you know, like, I feel like the being roped into being an incel is really similar to being roped into being a flat earther. It's recognizing that there's something wrong with the system and there's a problem there that is definitely affecting how you're interacting with people, but your interpretation of that becomes the absolute worst faith interpretation of every fucking human being that has ever spoken to you ever in your life, instead of trying to, like, give everybody else the benefit of the doubt that are they're just trying to figure shit out like you are, and, like trying to actually believe what people are saying, because, like, if you are presenting yourself honestly, then, you know, expecting people to do the same seems more reasonable. When you are putting something out to the world that does not feel genuine to you, it's a lot harder to accept that people are being genuine 
in their presentation to you, right? Self-esteem. So I've been trying to, you know, do a little research, as it were, a little uh, black pill research recently. Um, the, the thing that I seem to be picking up is that the belief is that self-esteem is something that is like formed in childhood and then that's just your self-esteem forever the end um i am here to tell you nope uh, <laughs> if you like take the time to figure out who you are and accept who you are and be okay with that person and like work on the good things and work to change the things you don't like that are, you know, changeable. Uh, uh, I, like, you know, I talked about in the previous video, previous videos, but in detail in the, the most recent one about my eating disorder, like, and how, like, fucked up that behavior was. And that was all because I was way more concerned about what other people thought about me than about me you know what i mean um ultimately friend the only person you have is you there can definitely be people in your life that you love and trust and value and you should have those things and i assume you wouldn't be looking for incel advice if you didn't want those things right like but you know, when it gets down to nuts and bolts, like, it's just you at the end of the day. So, like, do you like you? And if you don't, then what can you change about the things that you don't like, you know? I mean, honestly, you know, again, I'm a navel-gazing fuck. I will admit that. But I think that there is genuinely some value to evaluating who you are and like the different things about yourself that you do and don't like and the things that you do like if they're intrinsic and things that you can't control you can high five yourself for the genetic good luck you know um, but if they're things that you're choosing then you can really like hooray that's a thing that i'm doing that i think is a good thing and good for me right the things that you don't like you need to do the same shit if it's something that's intrinsic that you can't fucking control right fucking physical attributes that are not you know easily changeable if you can't change it with a trip to a hair salon or a mall to buy some makeup or some clothes like um but there are things there that you know are changeable in the long term right but like things that like no matter what you do never like that's just who you are um, or things that you know will make things m more of a challenge, right? Accepting that there will be more of a challenge is definitely a thing that's reasonable. Not necessarily the like, oh, this challenge has made everything impossible, you know? Um, but like, you know, the things that you don't like about yourself that are obviously things that you can work on, like, work on them, right? Like... You got to recognize, man, and I say this looking not only at my own observations, but everyone else's, but really seriously at my own, the shit that you want to lash out at other people for almost always is one of two things. It's either directly affecting you or it's some shit about you that you don't like. Right? These are the two things that will make people take the fucking time to blah, blah, blah out of their fucking face. And, you know, you know, or um, th things that people think are yucky. People, if, if something causes distaste, people will blah about that uh, as well. Hi, go look at my comments. But, you know, just as much of that is people who are upset at their own, like, lack of self-esteem, you know, or... You've got to recognize what external 
input you should actually, like, accept and consider, and what you need to leave the fuck alone. Because, hello, the internet is the internet, and you're, no matter who you are, going to hear things that are positive, negative, and everything in between. So if you're taking advice from the internet, why are these people giving you advice and what is their end goal? And how is that going to help you out, right? And if they're not giving you advice, if they're giving you criticism, where is that criticism coming from? Is it coming from a genuine place of concern or is it just coming from wanting to make themselves feel better about being a better person than you? And then do you actually think they're a better person than you? Because in my experience, most of the people that are criticizing me online, not better people than me. <laughs> um, you know, to be fair, I am absolutely open to good faith criticism and I address it. I love it. My whole goal here is to try to help, right? Like, looking at this and, like, you know, just seeing the ridiculous advice out there. Like, I was watching this, um, it was Red Pill, Not Black Pill. It was a different video. Um, and it was about a dude, like, advising different time frames to text in response to women who may be interested in you or the, you, them, or whatever. And, like, this idea of, like, intentionally not responding to them to, like, make them think that you have shit that's going on. Which, like, here's the thing, man. Just live your life. If you're busy and you can't respond and that woman throws a fucking fit about it, that seems like an issue. But if you're available and you respond right away, that seems like a reasonable thing that people can do sometimes. If you overthink it, like texting is some sort of fucking rocket science, you're going to stress yourself out about something that's supposed to just be an easy means of communicating with another person. It's really not that big a deal. Right? But if you start doing texting math of like, oh my god, can I double text? Can I... Blah, 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 then you either get in your own head and make yourself fucking nuts, or you become that asshole that becomes memes that starts sending the fucking text messages to women about how they're whores and sluts and pieces of shit and blah 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 because they didn't respond to you fast enough. And you don't want to be either of those. You want to realize that other people have lives and hopefully have a life yourself. Hi, hello, see the rest of my videos. So that, like, you can be fulfilled in yourself as a person. Because ultimately, you know, it's, it's like... All of the advice out there for women is, like, make friends first, make friends first, make friends first. Because the fuckboy culture, right? Like, they call it fuckboy. You call it Chad. Like, that's the, like, I'm too cute to give a shit about actually maintaining a relationship, but apparently it overrides people's fucking sense of reason. Um, okay, cool. But, like, they're trying to fight the same fucking dudes, so I don't know what to tell you. So maybe if you show up as the nice guy friend, not nice guy, in the Reddit nice guy, because if you're calling yourself a nice guy, you're probably not. But if you show up as someone who genuinely is like, I would like a friendship here, and you mean that, like, then the worst case scenario, you end up with a friend, like, or you did, like, where is the risk? What is the problem with you having friends that are women, right? Like, if that's something that you're seriously just, like, disinterested in, ever having a woman who has similar interests that you like spending time with that you're not fucking, then I am not the one to give you advice. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I assume that if you would like to sleep with women, that you'd also like to spend time with them with clothes on.
because that's what they're looking for. Because, like, what they would like to know is that if you marry them and knock them up, that in the six weeks after they give birth to your child, you're not going to try to go out and fuck someone else. Because that's the only thing that you think that she's important for. That's what they're looking for. And if the only thing that you show up with is a desire to fuck them, and that's your primary goal in the interaction, then that's not very secure for them as someone who knows that the results of that fucking are going to result in future periods of time where they're not able to fuck you. So I don't know what it is like. You need to reconcile biology with your expectations if you don't think that she's got to take more shit into consideration than you. It is a higher risk for her. You know, if we want to talk about dating apps, it's the dudes going on there saying yes to literally everyone is why women have to be more selective. Because you guys are not actually saying whether or not you actually like her. You're just going, opportunity for pussy. And so she doesn't know whether or not you're genuine. And so she has to try to jump through a bunch of fucking hoops to filter it out. And if people could just actually say what they actually wanted, then things would be better off, man. You know? I know, I know. Most of you don't care because I'm a big homo. But, like, I'm in a relationship that started from I want a friend that I can bang, right? Like, I was not looking for someone to be, like in love with right but that's what fucking happened and it like you know people in your life that this is the thing right like it's not just me right it could be you if you like you and you go out into the world you might find someone and if you don't you'll still like you so where's the problem? So maybe let's work on liking you and being willing to present yourself and be friends with someone and see if they like you, right? Like, you cannot make this all about attractiveness and whether or not you're going to be dead in the bedroom. The average couple is having sex once or twice a week. Do you know how much of your life exists outside of that once or twice a week? Women are thinking of that. I get it. All I want to do is bang all the time. It's kind of annoying. But that's not what people whose brains are soaked in estrogen are thinking about. They're thinking about the long term because they can think about further than 15 minutes from now. So can we maybe take that into consideration if your goal is to actually have a relationship with them, right? Because whether or not you convince someone to bang you, I assure you, if she is comfortable, it is going to be more fun for you. So maybe something to think about. Maybe something to be concerned about. Maybe thinking about someone other than yourself, right? Right? But also, maybe thinking about yourself as an actual human being with wants and needs so that you might be able to understand that someone else is like that too, right? Like, you need to be judging yourself and you need to be way less concerned about what other fucking dudes think. If you're not trying to bang other dudes, why do you care what they think? Maybe, maybe listen to women and listen to people who have listened to and or been women. <laughs> Just a thought. I hope I've entertained. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell. <laughs> Um, questions, comments, concerns, hate is welcome. 
Um, I've gotten some that are slightly funnier lately, so that's that's appreciated. Um, yeah. And I love you. Be safe. Make good choices.